We will take our first questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cage Side Press. Your line is open. Hey, Gustavo, can you hear me? Yes. I want to ask you, when you've been the face of a promotion like Combate Americas and they sent you everywhere with the belt, what is the experience like to start over a bit in the UFC and, you know, work your way back up from the prelims to the main card with less attention? I actually love it. I love the fact that I'm can been considered the underdog for all my fights. It just gives me another just, you know, another way to just kind of sh show that I belong. Like there everyone they just don't know about who who I am yet. So I'm excited to go out there and just perform. How did it help you being managed by a, a former fighter and a pioneer in Misha Tate earlier in your career in terms of helping you to get to this level and just those extra lessons that you may not have gotten from someone else? No, uh, the part, uh, the friendship with Misha and the way we kind of just, she helped me with being my manager at the time was just uh, so much, uh, just took care of me so much. Physically, emotionally, she is like a mother to me. She's always been there. Even when I first started, when I first moved to Vegas, she, I lived on her couch and she eventually got, I got a room and it just, she helped me grow so much and I'm just, 100% grateful to have the opportunity to be around such a pioneer and such a mentor. Her, her mental strength is one of the things that I really admire. Just she make, she fights so hard with all her heart, and it's just beautiful the way she you know, works out, works out, yeah, works hard in everything. I know she's been doing her thing with one championship, but since she's been back in the states, has she had any input or just talks with you about the business side as you've gotten to the UFC? Yeah, uh, we just, we, well, she's still, she's back in the gym. She's just working out, uh, staying in shape. But we always get a little small conversation about, you know, just go out there, be, be myself and, you know, be that smiley, happy dude that I am. With your stuff yesterday about Adrian and everything else, I feel like people had different interpretations. Is there beef or is, did those comments just come from the confidence in yourself? I think the I think just came. There is no beef. I actually saw Giannis on the soon I got back from the PI. We little fist bumps. There's there's no animosity. There's no hatred. There's no nothing. We're you know we're two land fighters that love to fight. So we're gonna go out there and put on the show. My final question: Just what would you like to show most from yourself this Saturday? I would love to just show my growth. Uh, lately, all my fights been standing, and I got a little bit of submissions, but. I think my ground is so underestimated and I feel like I'm one of the best out there. So I'm excited to see, to uh, showcase my improvement and my standing, but also showcase my ability to do the full, you know, to be a well-rounded fighter. Hey, thanks Gustavo and good luck. Thank you. We'll take our next questions from Augusto Niaz Gay with Somos MMA. Your line is open. Gustavo, ¿cómo estás? ¿Todo bien? Muy bien, aquí. Gustavo, eh, mi primera pregunta es, eh, después de haber visto tu participación ayer en el, en el Media Day presencial y, y haber escuchado las respuestas, ¿se te nota que estás eh, un poco molesto con el hype que trae Yáñez y, y quizás con que no se te reconozca tanto en Estados Unidos como te reconocemos aquí en Latinoamérica, que sabemos de lo que sos capaz y, y de todo lo que has hecho en Combate a Américas? Eh, ¿Es esto lo que te pasa? ¿Es esto lo que sentís? No, no de nada. Es como, eran las preguntas que me que preguntaron, estoy listo y para esta pelea. Tu hype y lo que pasó, no, de nada me importa. I, lo miré ayer, es, no, no hay nada, no, no, there's no animosity. Aquí estamos para pelear. Es, 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 el, es el trabajo que hacemos. No, por vida, no, no, personas no, no me conocen aquí en Estados Unidos como me conocen allá con, latino, con la, latinos. Yo sé que soy uno de los mejores del mundo y lo voy a enseñar a este cerebro. Perfecto. Y bueno, a ver, realmente se ha visto una, una mejora impresionante. En, en, en lo poco que hemos podido ver el año pasado, debutaste contra Balishvili con 20 horas de anticipación. Te fue muy bien a pesar de la derrota. Después lograste tu primera victoria contra, contra Birjak. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a ver este fin de semana en este nuevo Gustavo López? Ojalá miramos todo. Miramos mi striking, mm. miramos mi como estoy en el piso y, y, no, y voy, voy a ir a agarrar la ganada para pa ganar. Perfecto. ¿Y, ¿Y de qué tenés que cuidarte en cuanto a lo que, lo que has analizado de, de Adrián Yáñez? Pues sus manos y sus, y sus, y sus pies, you ¿no? Know? Es bueno en, eh, arriba, en striking. Uh -huh. Pero, you ¿no? Know, 
la cosa es que me, le gusta ir de para frente, también me gusta ir para frente a nosotros. Uh, vamos a estar ahí listo en el medio del, del octagon y ganar esta pelea. Perfecto. Y para terminar, Gustavo, quiero preguntarte. El año pasado peleaste dos veces. Quería saber cómo venís analizando este 2021, si pensás pelear un poco más seguido, si, si pretendés pelear dos, tres veces, quizás un poco más. ¿Qué, qué es lo que tenés pensado? Y, y, y me dejan, quiero pelear hasta otros tres veces más este año. Bien. Ojalá. Perfecto, perfecto, Gustavo. Muchas gracias y buena suerte el sábado. Gracias. We'll take our final questions with uh, Zach from UFC.com. I feel like I needed to go out there and perform. Uh, I feel like I am, my skill level is there. I train with one of the best in the world. We got Cody Stamen at the gym. We got Sterling, Marab showed up. We got Joseph Benavidez at Extreme Couture. We have a bunch of good dudes, and I know I belong in this division. For as deep as it is, I feel like I'm one of the top, but I'm, again, I'm a, I'm a newcomer coming in. So I'll go in there, I'll keep getting my W's, and I'll, I'll slowly come up the rank. How many throwers can you get in a pass and It's great, man. It's absolutely uh, better than I expected. Uh, I expected war in that fight. You know, I know Virchek could have been out there, and he's gone and out there and finished his last five opponents. So he was on, was on a first fight, finishing streak for a while. So I knew he was dangerous, but I knew we, were, we put on the work to be ready. I feel that his style excites me. The fact that he's such a good striker, and he's gonna and he loves coming forward is is gonna be a fun. When two you get two land fighters in there, there's, it's gonna be a war. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I feel like I'm overall the better, well-rounded fighter. You know, I feel like he, he, at the moment he had, might have better striking than me, but my striking's been good. I've been highlighting people for a minute, so it's I'm not scared about my striking. My, we've been working a lot on my striking. Brown is just 